New Jersey became the 14th state to legalize medical marijuana in January 2010, and a couple years later opened its first dispensary. Patients pay the state 7% sales tax, but it doesn't add up to much. And the economic impact in terms of what we've had so far is, 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 not, is minuscule. Senator Nick Scateri points to Colorado, which raked in $2 million in taxes from its first month selling marijuana for recreational use. He says New Jersey could reap the same benefits, and he's drafted a bill to expand marijuana sales here. The public would benefit from you know, the job creation, the tax revenue from property taxes or income tax payments, uh, not to mention the savings that you'd get in law enforcement and, and the judicial and probationary systems. But opponents see more than just green. The governor says he won't approve the sale of marijuana for recreational use. It will not happen on my watch ever. I am done expanding the medical marijuana program under any circumstances. Well, the problem is people are trying to uh, parlay the uh, goals of the medicinal marijuana program into recreational use. New Jersey's program is one of the strictest in the country, with a comparatively short list of eligible conditions and a long string of requirements to register. I mean, it's almost as if we're dealing with nuclear waste here uh, in terms of how uh, delicate that they've been dealing with the, the marijuana regulations, that it's been extremely onerous for people to participate in the program. It takes about three months from the time these are cloned from the mother plant to be grown, dried, trimmed, and ready for the patient. Patients buying an ounce at a New Jersey dispensary pay an average of $469. But Garden State Dispensary spokesman Yale Galanter said Colorado patients pay about $200 an ounce. The cost of producing medical marijuana in New Jersey and the cost of producing it elsewhere is just tremendously different. You know, the rules, the regulations, the legal fees, the administrative fees, New Jersey is just a totally different you know, ball game. New Jersey, with nearly 9 million residents, registered about 1,750 patients. In Colorado, more than 60 times that many people have medical marijuana cards. Remember, with a customer base of 1,700, you know, it, it's very difficult to even pay your bills. While some see dollar signs, opponents say that no amount of money will be worth the risk to state residents. I just see the ramifications of drug use on a daily basis. And we, we just can't forget how many families are hurt and suffer because of this. Could end up being a billion dollar industry when all said and done in terms of the savings, the economic revenue generated, and the tax rateable. So, you know, it's a lot of money that people should be uh, thinking about when they want, wonder whether or not we should go forward with this program. State lawmakers will get the chance to hash this all out when Skateri introduces his bill in the coming weeks. For NJTV News, I'm Andrea Vasquez.